first and foremost, I'd like to thank you all for being here on this beautiful and very overdue evening. So, as all of you I'm sure know, I'm going to be doing the Father of the Bride speech. Obviously, I'm not the Father of the Bride. But Mum asked me to say something on behalf of Grandad. And I went and saw Grandad earlier in the week and asked him if there's anything he'd like to be said for his first daughter's wedding. And he looked, he floored me with his response. He looked me dead in the eye and said, <laughs> He did go on to say that he thinks the world of you both, he thinks you're fantastic and he wishes you a lifetime of happiness. <laughs> So I'm going to keep this really short and sweet. Don't want anyone to stop crying or anything like that. But I just want to get to it how overdue this is. Because everyone knows we've only been together for 20 something years, however long. And me and Jack have grown up our whole lives without a noun to describe Lee. <laughs> Whenever we talk about them to people, it's always Mum and Lee. Well, Lee, he's our, he's our stepdad, but he's not, well, they're not married, but they live in sin, or they're more common. Oh, Lee, yeah, he's my mum's um, life partner. No, 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 it's not short for Leanne. <laughs> I often didn't clarify that you weren't an old lesbian. <laughs> But both Jack and I couldn't be more proud of you for today. I know how nervous you were, Mum, and it's been an absolutely beautiful day. You've been our parents for 25 years. We love you to pieces, and it's really nice to finally have a noun for you, Lee. So, I've heard a few from Jack. <laughs> <laughs> if everyone would like to raise a glass. Aww. To Mr. and Mrs. Morgan. Mr. Mr. 